I'm Chris and Chris and welcome to So Cool Science! Science you can do right at home. Everything you hear is vibrations and I'm going over today's science file. In today's science file, it says... How does our eardrum help us hear? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a plastic bowl, some plastic wrap, a rubber band, sugar, a pen, and a spoon. Okay, so everything you hear from random noise, to bad singing, to people talking is a vibration. What? You don't believe me? Well, here, I'll prove it to you. Start by getting yourself a bowl. I mean, you know, <laughs> one of these little plastic balls right here. <laughs> oh, and of course, you're going to get something with some plastic stuff right here, you know, because you're going to wrap it up. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, and, and you got to get yourself one of these rubber bands. Oh, and by the way, you got to make sure that, that plastic is stretched super tight. I mean, this is probably the only time you're going to wrap it and want it tight. And you're gonna take your sugar and you're gonna sprinkle it all over the rack. Next, you're gonna get yourself a pan and a spoon. And you're gonna bang the spoon on the pan. Whoa, now that's so wicked cool. When I bang the spoon on the pan, the sugar began bouncing around. So, why does the sugar dance around on the plastic when I bang the spoon on the pan? And what does it have to do with eardrums and hearing? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. As sound waves make their way to your ear through the air vibrating, these vibrations get concentrated as they pass through the auditory canal. These concentrated vibrations vibrate the tympanic membrane or eardrum just like the rat vibrates when you bang the spoon on the pan. The tympanic membrane vibrates three bones in the middle ear, the malus or hammer, the incus or anvil, and the stapes or stirrup. These three bones send vibrations into the cochlea, a snail shell shaped structure. Inside the cochlea is a fluid that interprets volume. When fluid vibrates all the way through to your inner portion of the cochlea, your brain interprets this as a loud sound doesn't make its way all the way through the shell-shaped organ. We interpret this as soft sound. Also inside the cochlea are tiny hairs that vibrate. When these hairs vibrate really fast, your brain interprets this as a high-pitched sound. When these hairs vibrate slow, your brain interprets this as a low-pitched sound. Your cochlea can also pick up different sounds at the same time by measuring the slight difference in vibration. Since each sound will send out different vibrations, your brain interprets each vibration as a different sound. So now you know how your eardrums work. You know, seeing vibrations right at home is why science is so cool.